Soldier Anus Strong, my child. Take in the air and release it. In through the nose. Come on. Exhale. If you'd found yoga before, you wouldn't have been that way with Coach. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out. For me, Titor, it's okay. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Breathe out, please. Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. Breathe, please, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. Okay. Take in the air and release it. Out through the mouth. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Just exhale, Michael. <sighs> Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out, baby. <sighs> we might be about to witness the first yoga-induced heart attack. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikkel. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, oh, mm. oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikkel. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh! Fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy! You still here? James! Go away! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll just rape your mom instead. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. 
You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times? I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. Hey, man, what's... <coughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's, <laughs> man? Up? what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Be careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, yeah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is not you normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Whoa. Serious. Whoa. On the phone! I gotta stop. Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetize me? You're fucking protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on!
Jimmy, you little shit. I know, I was supposed to call a half hour ago, an hour ago. I was stuck in prosperity, and I hate talking on the cell and driving. And it's illegal. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. We've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. DeSanta. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself, right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse, off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. You see his face that last time I popped him. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher. 
<laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you. Mm. Where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, Bob. Oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand. He's gone. He's gone. It's okay. I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael. And this... This is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP, you know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know, what did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You I two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, <laughs> go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. <laughs> the guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like him. If I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or? Or we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there? Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. Do you remember after the bust? I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. 
This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him, just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Cut. I got it. Hey, you want a coffee? Can I get you anything? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please? Look at me, please. You gotta be a sick fuck to want to be a dentist. Not the flyer! Let me mine it, please don't! <laughs> 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 Best way to make a man talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What did you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. <laughs> he lives in too much. The ride on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainee's right, and it's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. He don't look loose to me. Take another two, please. My heart. No, no! Yo! Whoa! <laughs> That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, 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 this guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built, I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're stalling, this better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever, he's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around, that enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley, what do you see? 
We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, let me see, I remember. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. I remember. Woo. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh. Come on. Please. Knee shot. I guess our interrogation techniques were a little too advanced. I'm taking a shot of this after him. How long was that out? So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 no Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Ah, well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> God damn! He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know, Trev. Maybe one more time, just to be sure. No, please, no! Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. Tell me where to start. Are any of those teeth less useful than the others? I don't have teeth. Don't think anymore. Not again. Uh, uh. <laughs> They're all root. They just keep going down. It feels like you ripped my jaw out. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be, used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball uh, game to get uh, to, so Trevor, uh, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set.
What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <coughs> Let's go, come on. Where are you taking me to? Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch, okay? Get you to the air. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 no. You have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. Turn in the morning wood. I love him very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home! I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message! You're a torture advocate! Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Torturers or the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer, you torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. I am very unwell. It's me, 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 me with you. Jesus Christ, good grief. I thought we really bonded, but now I'm having my doubts. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. Run. You're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really, now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. An inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. Well, I guess we're going to Port City then. Come on then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got like work is kicking the mug. Look, the sir, Please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turn. I can't quite describe it, but I'll... Sir! But I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? 
$236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. Well, we don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order? My butt's gone The folks waging outsourced... Outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right, we'll take a look at that as well. Go park and get the dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Oh, just about to start. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. What? We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Bullshit. Government's done enough to strip us of our collective bargaining rights. Okay. Useless prick. That is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Over there, two o'clock. Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Meriwether guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! Up here, okay? I guess I gotta pretend I'm a dock worker if I wanna stay. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together, stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. Trevor! Those are the containers in Bay B.
Hook it up! That's it. Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Just don't! And attach it! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Ever's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. It's up to the top of the crane for me. to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Get up on this walkway, climb down the ladder, and go into the cabin. First up, position the cabin over a container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. Looks like you're in line. You're in position, so drop the spreader down and secure the load. Shh. 
She's there! Lock her on! It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. We need to go to the other end. Bay 5. Further, come on! That's the truck. Ease her onto it. Bring the container down over the truck's frame. Container's locked. Haul that freight. And you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Get back down to the other end. over the second container in Bay 1. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids.
Trevor, come on. I can take you over to the warehouse. This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life. Floyd, it's lucky we turned up what we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. No entiendo. Uh, no understand you. Uh, manifesto. Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck Get do back you think you're going? Get back out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Hey, got confused. Uh, God don't speak English. Uh, must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He said, he said, no, oh, he Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether. Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. Only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere.
<laughs> what in the name of all things holy? I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's a, <laughs> there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. Mm -hmm. And there, perfect. All right, so based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, right, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll... You okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yeah. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever gonna smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right, and you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him, no. smell him. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, I... You're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! Go back! Trevor, hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS, really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. <laughs>